Hi everyone, this is Tabitha from Twitch It Craft Kits and we're looking at kit one of the Home Again range. Let's have a look what's inside the kit. Okay, so inside the kit we have a little thank you message for buying our kit. And then we have our bonus mystery item. It's in a sealed white envelope. So we can't tell what it is yet, but you will be able to discover that when you buy the kit. The next thing we have is this lovely little pack of ephemera. As you can see on the back, there's lots of different shapes and flags and sayings that you can add to your layouts. They're a gorgeous quality. Then we have our little piece of burlap. Now this goes with the na natural feel of the kit. Uh, you can fray the edges, you can have it sticking out underneath a photo. There's lots of options what to do with the burlap. The next thing you'll see is some leaves on a branch uh, kind of shape. So these are SVG's die cuts and you'll notice that there's three different sizes. So there's a really large dark green leaf, there's also a smaller light green leaf and then there's an opaque or vellum middle sized leaf. Now these leaves are double sided and uh, they have a different colour on the other side so you can mix and match depending on what, how you want your leaves to look. So there's our embellishments. Our last kind of embellishment is the uh, chipboard die cuts. So some gorgeous things here, really nice thick hard chipboard, beautifully printed, um, lots of options of way where you could use these. Okay, so then we come to our paper uh, range. So kit one has these beautiful tags. Now we just use these on some wedding place holders. So for the wedding table and they look divine. So lots of things you can do there, make a tag, add the leaves behind, put some beautiful string through, gorgeous. And they've got a kind of nice stripe, natural stripe behind. Then we've got your sticker sheet. Um, there's no repeats here, it's just one single sticker sheet. The repeats go from the chipboard to the ephemera to the sheet. Um, so you can have a variety of things and you can also cut things out of the paper. But there's lots of stickers there to choose from um, and to put onto your layouts. And then this pack has the small journaling cards. Um, as I said before, I wonder, I'm not sure if you can see the texture of the paper. It's quite tricky just to see, but it is divine paper. It is not shiny, it's matte, it's textured, it's got a beautiful feel to it. So you've got lots of different um, options there with the small journaling cards. And then you'll find we stack our paper back to back so that you can flick through and see kind of what you've got. So. Even though these ones on top, this check is the back of this paper. So we've got the large flowers, um, which has kind of got the blue and the green leaves, just gorgeous. And on the back of that, whoops, there goes the puppy, is the check. And then we've got some beautiful Home Sweet Home wreaths. This is a divine piece of paper. So you get two sheets of that. And on the back of that, you've got this kind of little spot. It's very hard to see in this light, but it's super cute. Little green spot on blue. And then you've got a smaller flower. Um, very similar to the one before, but a little bit more detailed, more pattern. And on the other side of the smaller flower, have I got it right? Yes, it's the canisters. So we've got the beautiful canisters. You can cut these up, fussy cut them or leave it as a beautiful, nice look, kind of farm background. It's gorgeous for bakers and things like that. Then we've got the lovely magnolias. These again, you can fussy cut around the magnolia or you can use it as a background. The back of the magnolia is this divine chocolate wood color. And that's just lovely. It's really nice and rich. And then we've got another different kind of floral. Um, it's got a few different little details in it, like these little um, flowers here and some beautiful leaves. And on the back of that is just some plain striping. Um, really lovely, uh, not quite perfect, so a little bit rustic. And then we have the leaves. So the leaves, you might find that they look exactly like the die cut leaves on branch. Um, so the shape is very similar. 
and you can use this with the leaves or without and the back of the leaves is this sheet with the um, kind of border around where they sometimes have the white words along here and it's got a kind of slight line in it and then of course with all your beautiful pattern paper you've got your planes so kit one has the tan and on the back of the tan it's kind of like this beautiful blue color and then we have the green and on the back of the green is like a deeper darker green and that is it for kit one i hope you enjoyed um, having a look having a bit of a sneak peek and uh, the home again range